I'm Marion. This is Book Sell It. I have a video for five authors and a runner-up of uh, five authors of books I would like to read. Five authors, five favorite authors of books I would like to read. Okay, this was a challenge. Now, I heard about this video on Berna's channel, Berna's Bookish Adventures. When I responded to her channel or to her video, I was thinking, oh yeah, Dickens and Anthony Trollope and Thomas Hardy. And apparently, you know, those are the go-to authors. You know me, I have to be different. So I went with other authors that are not as, some are as well known, some are definitely read, and some that I don't hear about on booktube. I'm going to start with, not him, <laughs> I'm going to start with, and um, not him, <laughs> let's start with this. We'll start with Walter Isaacson. He apparently has written, oh, that was another thing. It was very challenging to find out how many books each author wrote because of republications and then children's books or um, study books. It, it, was, it was a thing, let me tell you. Okay, so Walter Isaacson has apparently written 14 books. Now here was, a, here was the struggle. He apparently has written three books on Einstein. I've read one. So he has apparently written 14 books. This one, The Code Breaker, being the most current, the most recent. And this was published in 2021. Then I have Leonardo da Vinci. This, this book is so heavy. The quality of paper in here is supreme. This book was published in 2017. I started it, I DNF'd it. And then we have The Wise Men, Six Friends, and The World They Have, oh, I'm sorry, The World They Made. It looks like he co-wrote this with a gentleman named Evan Thomas. And this book was published Oh, 1986. This apparently was his first published book. You know what? I have another book. It's um, Kissinger, and that book was 1992. I got that book from my in-laws. So we have David McCullough. We have 14 books. Okay, he has published 14 books, and I have read more of McCullough than I have of Walter Isaacson. So I've only ever read Einstein by Walter, and I'll put a picture up of which one I read since he has three. With David McCullough, he has 14 books, and I currently have four in my possession, but I have read... John Adams, which was published in 2001, 1776, which was published in 2005, and then I just recently read The Wright Brothers, which was published in 2015. Oh, I have Mornings on Horseback, too. Where's that at? I don't like my books being all messed up, but you know, you know the mess. You guys know the drill, right? I've got things going on here. Okay, so anyways, there's another one that I have up there, and I started it. It's about Teddy Roosevelt. I have not finished it. And so I have The Great Bridge. Prometheus and I are sharing this. I have not started that. Oh. Here it is. I didn't think I got it down. Okay. I started this, and this, this much. So I have read up to page 131 and it's mostly about his parents.
Then I have The Path Between the Seas, and this is about the creation of the Panama Canal, and Truman. Oh my goodness, this is a beast. 1,116 pages. I was hoping to get to that this year. Hmm, we shall see. Then, and I have all of her books packed, Annie Jacobson. I never hear another booktuber talk about Annie Jacobson. So she has eight books, eight books published, and I have read Area 51, which was published in 2011. That's the one I just recently finished. Operation Paperclip, which was published in 2014, and I read that one first. Then she has um, The Surprise Kill, and that was published. I'll put, I'll put the pictures in the frame so that you can see what, because if you're a visual person like me, you need to see the book. You need to see the picture. Okay, so then I also read The Pentagon's Brain, and that was published in 2015, and I, that, that was great. So I read Operation Paperclip first, The Pentagon's Brain next, and then Area 51, and I recommend that order because of the information that is in them and how they are written so, so good. And then I have Thomas Sowell, and I hesitated to put him on, I'm sorry, my hair is bugging. I hesitated to put him on the list because he has a whole lot of books. 42. 42 books. And I, I've read two. I have read... And I didn't realize it was a trilogy until I put the list together. The book that I just finished, it's now at the bottom of this pile, is the I'm gonna see when it was published too. Well, this is a problem. I know it's on here. Inside American Education, and that one, you know, this is interesting. The book says it was published in 1993, and yet the list that I got this from says 1992. Well, I'm kind of going to believe what the book says over what the website says. So, there you go. 42 books. 42. I did. I had no idea. Now, I'm going to see which ones my library has. <laughs> I just. No, I will look, but I doubt they'll have any. And so the other one is... You may have seen a theme of these authors, except for Thomas Sowell. They're chunkers. They're chunk among us. So my next author is Ron Chernow. <sighs> he has written seven books. They're all behemoths. And I don't think I've read... I haven't. I haven't read any of them. Washington, which I started and didn't get very far. Prometheus read this and said, I had to read this. I must read this. Then I have Grant, and I started this, and I was buddy reading this with Angie when she was Literary Labors. Now it's Angie and the Great World, I think. Ah, this book. I'm it, very well written. I got to page 113, so chapter 6. Grant was so depressing. So depressed. Look at the size of this. <laughs> it's a door stopper. Then we have The House of Morgan. Now, th I find this funny because... My husband and I were at Barnes & Noble in Huntington Beach, and he wasn't finding anything. I had a stack, and I asked, do you want me to help you find something? And he thought, okay. He says, yes. Go ahead. Try. 
I challenge you. He didn't say I challenge you, but he did. That, that was kind of the, the gist of his attitude. And I found this book. And he loved it. Loved it. And then I kept it. <laughs> Put it in my pile. And I still haven't read it. I don't even remember how long ago this was. I think Prometheus was a toddler. I'm trying to think. Oh my goodness. So uh, it's, it's been a hot minute. Now this book was published in 1990, but I think we probably bought it. Let me see if there's any annotation or no dedication or anything. No, I didn't write in it because it was his book. And then I took it because he doesn't care. Okay, and then I have Titan, The Life of John D. Rockefeller Sr. I haven't, I have a bookmark in here, but I don't think I started it. No. <laughs> uh, Prelude, Poison Tongue. Oh, well, that, that's interesting. So, uh, Ron Chernow has seven books. I haven't read any of them. Why in the world is he even on the list? Because I started a book because my husband's read a book and Prometheus has read a book and everybody I know says read Ron Chernow. I'll get there. I'll get there. Hang on. Be patient with me. Okay. Now the runner up, that was five, right? So we had <clears throat> Walter Isaacson and David McCullough and Annie Jacobson, and Walter, did I say Walter Isaacson, Ron Chernow, and Thomas Sowell. Thomas Sowell. Did you hear the goblin, the goblin in the hallway? Okay, so the runner up, because I really had a hard time making this list, Harlow Giles Unger has, I think, 27 books. Again, trying to find the information of how many books that these authors have written was a challenge. I've read one, and I have one more. That's it. But his writing impressed me so much that I had to put him on this list as a runner-up. And it was between him and Thomas Sowell. And I chose Thomas Sowell because Thomas Sowell writes more current issues that are, I think, more hard-hitting and information that is probably necessary for m most people, if not everyone, to read. And Harlow Giles Unger is history. So the book that I read by him was uh, John Quincy Adams. I laughed so much during that book. That was, that was a phenomenal book. And then the other one that I have is Lafayette, and I will put it here because I didn't pull it off my shelf. And my husband bought me that book ages ago, and I, I don't even know if I've started it. Anyway, that was a lot of fun. If you haven't done this and you have a channel, please consider doing it. I would love to hear what your five favorite authors are or what five authors you would like to read all of their books from or most of their books. And, um, and if you don't have a channel, please still comment below and let me know who your five, who your five favorites are, five authors. So thank you very much for taking the time out of your day. I hope you have a blessed one and I'll talk to you later. Bye.